So Eddie, there's a gig you got at Jimmy Max uh, with your band. Yes. Who is in Who is in your band? Who and who who gets to play in your band? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, um, currently uh, Ramsey Embick has been with me uh, since the beginning of the uh, the band. One of the great characters of all time. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> and, a, and a mensch, great guy. Yeah. Um, uh, we have Anthony Jones, who's just coming off tour uh, uh, with uh, Pink Martini. He'll be joining us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have John Mazak on bass uh, this time around, so mm -hmm. it's going to be fun. It's the first time I've played, uh, you know, uh, with my own band, with, with John, uh, you know, helping out, so it's going to oh, be fun. that should be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so August 17th at Jimmy Max, yeah. 8, 8 p.m. Yeah. All the information is right, right either above or below this screen here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it's right there. Right there. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, you don't play that often with your own band? Why is that? Because you, you're too busy? Well, you know, I just, I, I want to keep it special, you know, so I don't want to overly saturate and play, you know, too frequently. Uh, I, I average like, you know, once a month, once every six weeks that I'm playing. Mm -hmm. I really want to compress that now and, and play a bit more frequently, maybe once or twice a month. Mm -hmm. But uh, last time I played was in March. But I've done some guest appearances with uh, with Patrick Lamb and Jennifer Batten this summer mm -hmm. uh, on a couple of gigs, and that was great. It was great fun. Yeah. But this is the first time since March that I'm doing my own thing, so I'm looking forward to uh, to just really, you know, just playing, playing hard. We we you know we do three sets, and we just we just deliver the goods. We really just leave it all on stage, as I say. We really play, you know. Just every everything I just give it all, you know. <laughs> and so does everybody else. It's mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. Playing your own own material? Well, some or? of some of it's my own, but it's mm -hmm. just songs that I want to play, you know. So it's not kind of like I'm, it's not like I'm playing songs that, uh, well, gee, you know, uh, you know, Georgia or Brick House. Not not the, yeah. I don't like those songs. They're great yeah. songs, but yeah. I'm doing stuff like you know, Manic Depression by Hendrix, or you know, <laughs> or some obscure tunes, or maybe an Ennio, Ennio Morricone little tone painting. What Morricone do you do? Oh, Deborah's theme from really? uh, Oh yeah, from Once uh, Once Upon a Time in America. <laughs> I oh, love yeah. that. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. It's just beautiful stuff. Yeah, it is He's one of my heroes. Yeah. You know, so, uh, yeah, and, you know, we'll do some blues and uh -huh. Eric Clapton, some Albert King and, you know, uh, some Jeff Beck tunes. And so it's a little potpourri of things that kind of move me, you know, mm -hmm. and I try to put it into a, an evening that's interesting with anecdotes of some of my experiences through the years uh -huh. working with different artists and, you know, seminal things that have happened to me and how it translates to that song. Like, say, when I... When I do further on up the road, I recall that I tell people, well, the first time I ever saw Eric Clapton play was at the Last Waltz in San Francisco, mm -hmm. and uh, he performed, uh, you know, further on up the road with Blackie, you know, the, the black uh, Stratocaster, you know, and, uh, and so, uh, you know, so those are the connections, mm -hmm. so it's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Do, do they ever yell out requests to play something, that a hit that you played on? No, they haven't, you know. How about a guitar player going like... Could you play that lick from, you know, <laughs> yeah, like Addicted Arm, to yeah. Love? Yeah. You know, that stuff for you. Know. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I, I kind of uh, re refrain. I, I, I Sometimes I, I feel like, well, gee, maybe I should, but I, I, I kind of pull back. I, I, I don't, I think I played Simply Irresistible once, and that was with Curtis Salgado. So, oh. yeah. so it was really interesting. I really wanted to uh, 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 juxtapose a great, a great singer, you know, like Curtis is, on a, on a tune that maybe he normally wouldn't do, you know? Yeah. So it was really cool. And, and, you know, when I have guests come in, if I do, you know, it's like, I want to take them a little bit out of their comfort zone, a little bit, just to, just to, to, to experiment and, and give the audience something fresh. You know? Well, with all your, your business side and your marketing side you're mm -hmm. doing now, and plus the band... Do, are you still getting calls to play? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get calls to play. You know, quite frequently. Yeah. It's just that I, I I'm, I'm, I'm pulling back from that because I just really want to focus on my own brand as an artist and as a, as a musician and as a guitarist. And right now I'm transitioning from playing other people's tunes as I do in, in the show uh, to focusing on my own mm -hmm. material and, and, and looking forward to going into the studio before the end of the year to start recording and really in earnest a, a you know, solo album that I, ha I haven't done a solo album since the 80s. Yeah. You know, the last uh, solo album that I did was with Bernard Edwards. Uh, the great bassist from Chic yeah. and everything, and a dear a mentor and a dear friend of mine that uh, passed away about 16, 17 years ago. Well, you've done everything from Gatto Barbieri to, to, to anything well, you know, else you can Gato think of. The stuff is another... Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. ...by the name of Eddie Martinez. So that's the Gatto stuff. Oh, me. that's not you. 
No, no. Is that right? It's not me. You know, people think it's you. I, you know, it's not me. Hey, I'll take it, but it's not me. No, I'm, 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 not, uh, I'm not a keyboardist. People do think it's you, though. Yeah, really? Gee, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> and there's also another exceptional uh, bassist by the name of Eddie Martinez, right? I believe. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so when your own stuff... Most of the other stuff. <laughs> when, when your own stuff comes out, what is it? What, you know, where, where, where would you put it in, in genres? Oh, man, you know what? I, what I really it's a horrible think, question. I it, realize that. <laughs> no, but, you know, I think it's a, re a really a poignant question because I think a lot of people that have, have been chameleons, you know, I've played with Bootsy Collins, I've played yeah. with Andrew Lloyd Webber and Jim Steinman and Meat Loaf, Celine Dion, and then, yeah. you know, uh, Joe Cocker, Melba Moore. I mean, all over, yeah. all over the place. But, but, so it's a well, good well, question. Well, it is Who is Eddie Martinez? <laughs> that's a great question. And, and, you know, I think that's a question every artist that's been a versatile artist or a studio musician or whatever, that what is their, what is their, what is their essence? What is their yeah. true DNA as a, as a musician in terms of what they want to be? And some people, hem and haw, well, gee, I don't know. You know, I'm, what I'm about, I'm about big, crunchy blues infused with some funk and really, really strong melodies. And, uh, you know, that's, I think that's what it's going to be. You know. Well, that's something to look forward to. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it's going to be all over the place in the sense that, you know, uh, to me, the, the common thread through all of it is going to be is going to be my guitar and my voice, you know, and uh, then I'll have that kind of latitude to do something that's kind of like eth ethereal and kind of off the beaten path. And because nowadays, I mean, I, you know, twenty years ago, twenty five years ago, people were so they had their you know their hats on their marketing hats is well, right. I've got to I've, I've got to go this direction because this, yeah. this direction is hot. You know, that's not what I'm about anymore. What I'm about is I want to I want to put ten or twelve pieces of the, the strongest things that I can write and and, and uh, where I'm at at this moment. Well, you you're kind of kind of a part of the the third generation wrecking crew kind of work, aren't you? Well, you know, I mean, as far as an East Coast wrecking crew, yeah. I would say, yeah. I mean, played on a lot of, lot of. I've been, you know, really. I, I, I tell people, you know, well, I look at my, I, my, my discog, my discography, and, it's, yeah. and I, I, you know, it's, holy cow, I, you know. I, but when I, when I, and when I look back on it all, it's all about the work, Tom. Yeah. It's all about, you know, being in the moment. I wasn't thinking about who I was playing with or what I was doing. I was focusing on what can I give this song? What can I deliver to this piece of music that, you know, that would push it or uh, take it into place and enhance it and make the producer happy, the composer happy, and the artist, you know, thrilled. And that's the challenge, you know, because a lot of people could really be selfish. As, well, I hear it this way. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's like, you know, well, I'm going to push this, you know, square peg into this round hole. And, you know. And, and now you just have to make yourself happy. Exactly. You and then go. you make yourself happy and you're sitting at home and starving. You know? <laughs> so, it's, so you Eddie, know, it's a dance. Eddie, thanks a lot. I hope you pack them in. <laughs> Thank Jimmy's, and th thanks for spending time with us. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Tom.